Okay, I want to try this guy first. He makes entertaining game videos every so often. He's kind of like internet historian for gaming. He uploads once every year, basically. So yeah. Um, I was thinking he's good, Pog. Okay, let's try him out. Let's try him out. Um, maybe we go with the most recent video he's uploaded. How about this one? This is what happens when you like the psychopath, the city mayor. In the forest. Here. Here. This is already should be taking all kinds of. Okay, so there wait. might be some. No, not not. There you go. We're cooking. Up, up, up. Hey there, it's Josh. Welcome back to Let's Game It Out. We're playing okay. City Skylines 2 Does today. Compliments of our good- Is this- Chat, give me a one. Do you know this guy? It's funny. Do you know this guy? Two. One. Okay. Okay. If you know this guy, is he good? Or is he not? What do you guys think? He got recommended to me like, like a couple days ago. He's a legend. No way! Okay, he's good. He's good. Okay, boys. Buckle up! Buckle up, snackers! Let's see what we got going on here. What's wrong? Flip him. Buddy's over at Paradox for sponsoring this one. Okay. Oh, and also the version of the game I have is an early build, so there okay. might be some oddities, which is, you know, really Perfect. excites me. But keep that in mind for some of the weird stuff we may find. First things first, we gotta pick a starting map. And I know okay. that when we're considering these things, we should be taking all kinds of stuff into consideration. Yeah, like, like um, like, uh, where the nearest fruit snack factory is. That's important. Um, uh, wh where the nearest canyon is to go skydiving? Um, what, what else do you need? Um, maybe, I don't know. Consume food while watching Maybe others. a gigantic mesa that looks super epic when you stand on top of it and you own the world. A hospital. Cringe. What's the theme? What's the climate? What are right. the outside connections? The what outside are all the natural resources? <laughs> or we could go ahead and pick River Delta, because I've decided right in this moment River that would Delta. be my spy name. We got and a Delta! We got a Delta Niner down on the track! Delta Niner down! Good enough for me. And now we're gonna go ahead and name our city. Sadula. The Sadula. magical river town where you can cry anywhere you want. No! At home, in the streets, in your- <laughs> Spatula. Oh, cause it's sad. Uh, your, shower. your shower. We mean it. Cry mean anywhere. It. Cry and now anywhere. I have to wonder how much text we're allowed to put in this box. Oh wow, it's really. Dang, I didn't know they let Tangia make the titles. You're just gonna let me keep going, isn't it? And obviously this town is North American. And I think we're ready to begin. Okay, here okay. we are in the beautiful starting lands of Sadula. <laughs> Population Sadula. zero, and it's already raining. First thing okay. we need to check is did our name actually take? Oh yeah, it sure did, didn't it? Well, that's something I definitely <laughs> like to see. Surely this isn't gonna have a <laughs> I would have hit the cure to cancer somewhere in this name. Wait, what is uh, kinda hungry? Just like every a single time I talk about crying Ill side in the shower, I find myself having a hangering. And on that note, go oh, let's go ahead and save <laughs> our game first thing. You never know what's going to happen in a beta build. Ah, see, that's what I'm talking about. Look at it trying to display our entire city name. <laughs> Too bad it runs out of space. <laughs> Wait, it just goes on the end of the screen. Uh, what? <laughs> pumpkin spice cookies. No way. The entire thing is all pumpkin spice. <laughs> this is like me writing my effing will. No problem, can I just save it anyway? Uh, I don't think it took. So let's go ahead and delete the whole thing, and we'll just no! call it Sagula 1. Okay, that didn't do it either. No! Luckily, we can just go down to the city name and just rename it right here. So if we just rename it to Sagula and then try to save again... Ah, so that's how it's supposed to look. <laughs> look at that, it's supposed to show you... Wait, your... there's, there's a whole screen that was covered by the name! City and have a save button. That's what I was missing. Yeah! Fair enough. We're just gonna call it Sagula. Wait a minute, what? The forest is already on fire, but it's what? raining. How did I get so lucky? Oh, I think I found it. It's all the way over here. I don't know what? if I'm gonna care at all about this. Okay, here we are. A nice cozy fire. That's even more cozy the closer we get. Chat. Smokey the Bear would never let this happen. This is confirmation in this fictional universe. Smokey was never invented. Only you can prevent wildfires. So we're gonna watch this man put out this fire right now. Get some help. Let's see how this dude saves the planet. 
Well, now I'm torn because we have a city to make, but we uh -huh. have the fortune of this perfectly good forest fire. So let's just see how this goes everyone, first. Everyone, 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 I mean, so what? far it's not that no! big. And also our actual city is like way over no! there somewhere, no! which is to say this is all for pleasure. Okay, come on. Let's speed this up. We don't have all day. Let's go from this to this to this. There we go. That's much better. Fire, do your thing. Hey, oh, and what's trees. this? More friends in the distance. Yep, Not that's a fire, all right. Fire. Oh, no, and they're gonna take Thank out you. these castle ruins. How unfortunate that would be. Oh, oh my yeah. god. And That'd be so sad. We took out a culturally significant landmark from the effing medieval era. This is fine. This one is go True. Going, and that one is going. There's also that one over there. Uh -huh. and another one. It's like uh -huh. this game knows my needs before I do. Oh, and don't look now. There's been a traffic accident. How is this possible? What? We don't even have a city yet. Wait, this is it? This that's is our accident? Uh, shouldn't be a Chat, that's me in the car. Problem, there's a police car arriving soon. Oh, here we go. Oh, Someone's here to help. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> don't just cut. Yeah, that's me in the car that guy off and the circle of life continues. So the car was fine. He can still drive. Does that mean the person that was driving was the accident? Which means I'm... Wait. Also, all things considered, I think this fire situation is gonna be okay. Like, yeah, there's a lot of indicators okay. and stuff, but it seems like for every tree that gets burned down, a bunch of them are still surviving. True. Unfortunately. So we'll just let that burn for now. After all, we have a burn, town to build. Baby, you burn. see this border like around this the whole burn, thing? Burn, That's technically the burn, limits of our town baby, right burn. now. At the moment, the most we have is this cute little road coming right into our town Where and going go? to nowhere. And oh. then meanwhile, we have this other cute little road over here coming off of the main highway and then- I, Have you ever driven down a one-way road? Road and you just feel like you're gonna get murdered by a serial killer at the very end of it inevitably is this not relatable i live in fear of such roads all the time to me if you're not like in a city or a suburb you're in serial killer territory at any given moment a serial killer could strike they're like a bad case of diarrhea but they're hiding in the cornfields waiting to clown you Loading people over here to more nothing. So I guess this is the most logical place to start our no, city. No, I don't which means live in the start... U.S. Listen, bro, he might have a gun. He might also have a butter knife. Either way, he's going to kill you. Right over here. Okay, so first things first, we got to start with some roads. After all, they are the main city infrastructure. So it seems like it makes the most sense that it connects to that thing over there. But can uh -huh. we connect it to anything as long as it's in city limits? Like, can we connect it to this thing over here? Hang on, let's find out. Okay, so far it looks like we can put it, like, right here. Oh, what? yep, that's a big yes. Because who doesn't want to go from a normal 65 miles an uh -huh. hour on this bridge, and then has to suddenly change without <laughs> warning to a 30 mile an hour zone? Yeah, you do it the right way, USA. Well, and actually, you know what? Why only give them one chance? Let's give them two. Just <laughs> one right wicked. after the other. Oh, and we can't forget the other side, too. And by that, I mean <laughs> one of these. The most perfect way to not get into an accident. Thank God there's crosswalks. Don't forget to yield. True. Oh, what the hey? Let's add a couple Don't of more. You can easy. never have too many ways to get into Wait, a city, can you? Sometimes you have the street you prefer and you just want to take it. <laughs> the man that driving that car like, bro, I made like 37 right-hand turns. Where am I? And you just look to your left, and you're like five feet down the road. You're like, oh god, oh frick, what's going on? <laughs> Because after all, at the end of the day, all of these roads are actually just going to lead to the same one road. Oh my god, just look at this. My chest well, hurts just octopus? trying to navigate this at all. Okay, you know what though? Let's be honest. Why stop here? I like when how we the could game is like trying to add lines to the game to figure out how traffic should work on it, when clearly the game has not a single clue what is going on a little more like this. Okay, okay, yeah, there we go. I mean, God help us all if anybody... That looks like my hair after I'm done streaming. ...actually wants to traverse this. And who wouldn't? Look at these beautiful features. Who hasn't <laughs> dreamt about this? Uh, you just... <laughs> you just drive along the road. You're like... You're like... <laughs> 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 Your daily commute having all kinds of like stunt person <laughs> stuff and I have no idea who has the right of way for any of this I guess it doesn't really matter it's all gonna lead to the same place which is huh? this little peak right here there might Ooh. be a lot of ways to get to this point but only one road is gonna take you to the actual <laughs> Chad this is Hotel California you can enter once but you can never leave 
city. And it's going to be a one lane, <laughs> one way road. First, we'll put it over here. A little bit over here. Okay. And then maybe a little this bit over here. I mean, yeah, we knew this was how it's going to turn out. True. And now to finally get it to our first that island by brain. connecting it all the way over here. Good. Perfect. Someone had chats at most well, normal never, street never, in never, Vermont. Never. <laughs> Probably noticed all these squares and crap. <laughs> Basically, the game is letting us know that this is where we can place like residential areas or commercial buildings or whatever. Because, you know, in stuff like a normal city, you would have your roads and your logically placed buildings and all of that stuff. Or it can turn into a colossal mess, <laughs> just like we like it. Especially in the case with this. Which I don't so even know if we can put here? stuff in the water. What so I would do, Chad, is if they manage to navigate to the mythical end of this road after 87 years of trials and tribulations, they basically found the one piece at this point, right? I will place a singular toilet for them to use. And they can alleviate themselves before going back on the road once more. Go ahead and go down to our zones here and try. If you're new to the city building stuff, green is residential, blue is commercial, yellow is industrial, okay. pink is office zones, pink. and then we've got stuff for like specialized industry. Chat, math is red, and reading is blue, but English is green. And science is also blue. History, you know, like livestock. For now, we're going to stick with residential zones. In this case, we're going to go with nice, Math low density housing, red. which is like single family Math homes and red. stuff like that. Let's see, Math I believe we can just blue. highlight Math the area red. we want science and select blue. it. Oh, okay, there we go. Or it's not purple. underwater, unfortunately, but I guess that'll English do. And before green. we go too green. crazy, English let's take green. our roads and run it okay. all the way Jack, this direction. Can we all agree? Can we all agree English is green? English is green. Does anyone disagree with that? No. Mods ban him. English is orange. Okay, you are like colorblind. Does math tastes like strawberries or apples? Um, math. I don't. I don't think it tastes like anything. I don't know. It probably tastes like blood and broken teeth. If I tried to eat my textbook. So we have a nice plot of land that Standard it's going to build orange, on. True. And then we'll just I'm run this right over here. Orange. Which oh dear, it doesn't seem to like this very okay, much. Okay, here's the most divisive question in history, snackers. What color is history? What do you think? Consume the textbook, true. What color is history? The great debate. Brown, brown, purple, gray, orange, brown, snackers. Can I voice my opinion? History is orange. Now don't lynch me. I'm a good fillion. I do my best. I cannot feel my fingers. I repeat. I grab dry eyes. I cannot feel three of my fingers. If you hate me, it's because you're a hater. Okay? Lyncher? No! You're gonna, what are you gonna do? Huh? You're gonna shred my effing history textbook and tar and feather me with it? Doubts me on my own machinations and illegally contrived ideas? Is that what you want? It's an acceptable pick. Okay. Chat, give me a one if it's okay to think history is orange. Two if it's bad. History is brown. I, I'm so distracted. It's one? Okay. Okay. What was happening in the video? My man's installing the golden gates. Let's see what he's got going on here. Get the pitchforks. Hey! All the red highlighting. But I think I have a solution. It's called yeah, elevating the road a little yeah. bit. Oh, slope too steep. Okay, fine. We'll do a reasonable amount. So that cars aren't going to start <laughs> rolling backwards on the incline. <laughs> the car's like... <laughs> <laughs> Fine, and it gives us more space to put more residential city. down. This Look at like that, there's already houses coming like in. What in lovely tag. beachfront property this is. Beautiful one-story house for, no for sale. Reason. Complete with greenhouse, satellite dish, matching trash cans, Ooh. and the constant threat of fire spreading in the distance. True. Anyway, while all that's being developed, let's head back over here and finish this road. If you made it this far into the city, you already know what to expect by now. And Chat. if you didn't, well, here in the town of Sagula. I just had a question. So we know trees catch on fire. Right? Just like animals can too. Right? That means that animals and trees have a lot in common, obviously. We all know this. But here's the real question. If animals can get sick, can trees get sick? Probably, right? Yes. Well, here's the real question, chat. Can trees get cancer? What do you think? No, yes, yes, no, no, yes, no. I don't know what to believe. I don't know what's true. Is anything real? Am I real?
Who am I? Whenever, whenever, but like, for real, for real, for real, for real. Like, why do we never hear about trees getting cancer? Do you know how many trees probably die annually from cancer? And it never gets acknowledged? A tree cell is too simple to mutate into cancer. There's no way! It's a technicality, whenever, but whenever, yes. whenever, whenever, There's whenever. no way, of course they can! But, they do. I googled it, they do. They do! But like, why don't they die from cancer all the time? Like, why don't you ever hear like, oh, my pet tree got cancer and died? You know? Cause a lot of people have pet trees! They'll say, oh, bugs ate it. Oh, I forgot to water it. Oh, like, mold got on it. But they never say, oh, my tree had cancer. You never hear that. Because they don't have organs. Yeah, I mean, but like, if the cancer spreads, it can kill them, right? Yes? I remember a tree. My tree, my pet tree got the clap. <laughs> uh, he put his they do the ants. root in there the wrong are lots soil. Of dead trees in the wild. Uh huh. Okay. Only if it kills the roots. Genetics. Wait! I have a theory! Trees are covered in cell walls that are thick. <laughs> Dummy, thick. There's a cursed Jessica Minaj, video about how thick. large a You understand? Simply do not succumb to if cancer. If they have cancer, then at that point, all they have to do is be nothing because the wall, the cells that are cancer cannot escape from their confines. They're like in jail from the moment they're born. Whenever, Even if they whenever, grow, whenever, like, they cannot expand forever because all the trees' inner cell walls that are dummy thick are pushing the against it! Really spread in trees, so they are pretty resistant. Exactly! That's why trees have holes? No, I... No, North I, America what? used to be covered in chestnut trees until not too long ago. Uh-huh. They were wiped out by blight. Holy frick, but that's not cancer. Plants may not get cancer as we think of it, but they can and do suffer from tumors, where cells become disorganized and divide uncontrollably. No, that's facts, that's facts. I think, chat, I want rights for trees. If trees, no, if humans can vote and humans get cancer, then why can't trees vote if they get cancer? Equal problems, equal rights. I speak for the trees. What? Okay, let's just let's just get back to the video. Uh, our motto is, eh, you'll probably get used to it. <laughs> and connected back to this main road. There, everything's okay. connected. Don't say I didn't do anything nice for you. True. Just to sweeten the deal, we're gonna try to listen to everybody's demands. As you can see, there's a whole list of different things I could want. Low, medium, and high the density residential, blah, 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 blah. And their corresponding colors. We already made all these low density houses, which as you can see from the bar graph, nobody wants. But they really want medium and high density housing. So we'll sprinkle some of that around as well. Ah, uh, yes, progress. That's what? what I like to see. And goodness knows once you've got your nice Why single family- Why is this tree black? What happened? Is that a fence? My home. This is what you want to live next door to. This what level is, of huh? construction. Hey, what the heck is this icon here? Water damage. Can Destru bushes be straight up black? Structure has been flooded it's and dead? is being damaged. It's dead? What are you crying about? You're on solid land down there. Whatever, I'm sure it's fine. You know, it's the darndest thing. I make this nice place for people to live, Wait. and yet nobody wants to move in. They just drive fires? right by. Are they not impressed with our gigantic apartment? Is it just me or is this looks like on the back rooms? Like, imagine you, you fall from the sky because you exit the back rooms and you just hit the effing ground. You stand up and you got the effing twin towers with an effing bridge at a 45 degree angle in front of you. It's just like, was this designed by Satan, by God, or by like a 12 year old? <laughs> Skyscrapers. Well, That's fine. I think I know how to solve this problem. Let's take a look at our city economy. Oh, Specifically, let's take a look at taxation. Well, now, here's pieces. your problem. People don't want to pay taxes. And sure, we could get pretty True. granular with this and really assign different taxes to different things. But I'm just going to go for a nice try. If I was dictator, I would charge a 95% tax rate. And then I would give all the money back at the end of the year for a tax return. Think about that. And I'll give you one fruit snack in an envelope. And true method. It's called lowering taxes not just to 0%, but to negative 10%. I assume that means we're paying them to move in. Why? There, what do we think of this? Just to keep you on your toes. Place now. Oh my god, it's finally happening. We finally have someone who's willing to brave this new frontier. Have fun on those curves. Oh yeah, look <gasps> at that. People are finally moving in. <laughs> and they're so orderly too. Look at this. They wait their turn and... <laughs> 
Never mind. They don't need to do anything of the sort. You know how it is when you're tired of all this driving on the road stuff and you just need something a little more exciting? Of course you do. Who doesn't want a flying minivan? Truly, this neighborhood is too city, too furious. Anyway, welcome to your brand new home. I can't wait to see where they call home. Wait, is E.T. in the RV? Yes. E.T.'s phone at home. Oh, oh, it must be right here. What, these buildings under construction? Is oh, is going? it that place over there? Why'd you park so far away? True. What, are you afraid it's haunted? Oh, and just a quick reminder, this is an early build. I've been told this foliage is gonna look a lot better soon. On the, the other- The foliage looks like garbage bags. And don't you dare touch guy? this guy. Oh, it's like dog disrespect if you combine with XQC. This mustache. I know a national treasure when what? I see one. Yo! Why were the lips so plump? Did you see that? This man had woman lips. What the frick? Your new home. What do you think? And I guess that was enough for him. Okay. Back to the car we go. Nope, <laughs> I was wrong. He just wants- Wait, why does he walk like that? <laughs> Make him away downtown, walking fast. <laughs> to go on a nice leisurely walk. Wait, I was wrong again. He's going into that construction site, probably to take a dump. So all the- <laughs> He's the kick streamer from Japan. What's the dude's name? Uh, 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 Jack, Jackie, whatever, 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 uh, whatever the frick, J, J, whatever, whoever the frick that guy was. He got banned. Nani. Yeah. What are the frick whenever, that dude's name is? Whenever, whenever yeah, the one who got arrested. What's I get a laxative? Johnny. Yeah, Johnny. Johnny Chan. Johnny Chan. Whatever that guy's name is. Doing that, let's check out the rest He's of the getting neighborhood. Arrested. We've got all kinds of people showing off their parallel parking skills for no reason. Yeah. And they're matching smart cars. What? Yes, we're all very impressed. Oh, and that's not the only place Chat, with a bunch like of activity. Let's go As Pikachu you can see, this let's go squirtle. <laughs> Like, what's that called? It is growing larger <laughs> all the time. Wow. Oh, and I've got even better news. You hear that noise? Frick well, that don't noise. look now, but it looks like the fire has found yeah! us. Yes, that's what I like to see. Hope you like living next to nature. Anyway, now that our town is coming together. Wait a minute. Are what? people complaining about my town on social media? We could really use better water delivery in Band this city. Them. The sewers in this city could really Band use an upgrade. Them. Water and sewers? What? Oh, I guess that explains all these icons. I forgot they- I mean, come on. Did you just go poop in the water behind you? Whenever, 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 come whenever, on. You have to simple. do stuff like sewer and electricity whenever, whenever, and water whenever, sources whenever. at all. What are you complaining about? There's a river right there. It doesn't feel safe going out at night with all the hashtag crime outside. Yeah, don't look now. This place totally looks super unsafe. What? I would never trust a neighborhood with this many smart cars. Here's True. how I feel about you and your crying. We're gonna change the name of this street. We're gonna Willow. change it from Willow Street to Crybaby Alley. Yeah, Shame. now we've done it. And now all of the addresses here have changed too. How would you, you know like- You know what, Chad? That's a W move right there. If I was the mayor of this city, I would approve that. Absolutely. I'd be like, approved. Holy to live frick. at 750 <laughs> Crybaby Alley. Brilliant so I guess Street. the first thing we're gonna start with. Fussy Baby Boulevard? Yo, he leaked Fillion's address. <sighs> Come on! Uh, yeah, you can't, you can't go five seconds without seeing the word baby and then just getting triggered by it. Okay, it's like car keys getting jangled in front of your face. Is electricity. We could go with something like wind, or we could go with this coal power ah! plant. More electricity production. In addition to medium ground air and noise pollution, uh -huh. low cost but generates lots of pollution. True. That's certainly what I like to hear. <laughs> We're gonna put it right on top of this area here because, as we can see, it's kind of glowing blue, which means there's groundwater deposits there. I hope they like being polluted. Thank you, electricity department, for tweeting that we have hashtag power. True. I mean, in theory, nobody we has power, power yet because nothing's hooked. Up. Okay, first things first. This little road icon means that we need to- I would also just build the factory and then just leave it there. And if they want power so badly, that they'll walk over and get it themselves. It helps them burn calories. It's good for keeping everyone in shape. Road to the this or else people can't go to work. So we're gonna provide people with the best way I know how to get there. A gravel road. A Ooh. narrow and slow speed unpaved road for vehicles. Perfect. In fact, while we're at it, let's use the replace option. Make it just a little harder for this ambulance to navigate. Oh, nice correction. And then right into a power slide. Wait, I can't replace this bridge too, can I? Well, that's not a gravel road, but it was still fun to see what happens. Wait, can I just put an intersection right here on the bridge and just aim it to where it needs to be? The answer appears to be yes. Oh, I'm sorry, am I not close enough? 
line here have a little offshoot. There we go. It's yeah! perfect. It even has its own street name. And lastly, it's time Beach to connect one. some power. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and run this like that. And I guess I could do something easy like connect it right here, which will send power straight through the street. And then I believe in theory means uh -huh. it'll power all these houses. Right? So why do that when I can just run these things all over the place? <laughs> like as long as people are getting power, does anybody really mind? Okay, that's Bro, he's trying it in New York City! Probably pretty good, right? Just a nice spattering of power cables yeah! all over our fair city. Now let's move on to water and sewage. Look at this. We have two kinds of pipes. You are not safe from birds anywhere in this city. At any given moment, you might get pooped on from any altitude, from any direction. We got water pipes and we got sewage pipes. We could do them together, but that sounds way too convenient. So for all these water pipes to actually get water, we got to use something like a water pumping station. Water Extracts pump. water from a lake or river. And that's exciting because that means we're going to pull all of our water the from river this river. Delta. As you can see by all of these arrows here, that's the direction the water is flowing. Okay. Which doesn't seem like it matters now, but it will. So we're going to put one right here, right next to the thing that's polluting the groundwater. And all we need to do is connect this pipe and drag it all. In chess, queens are female, right? And pawns can turn to queens, so they must be female too. And pawns can turn to anything other than the king, so all the pieces other than the king have to be female. So chess is a harem war where you capture the other members' harems. Oh my god. Frick. Chess is the battle of simps. It all makes sense. No wonder women aren't good at chess. All the way over here to an existing pipe, and we'll break this gravel road off to another gravel road so people can get there too. Bless you for all having separate names. And there we go. All that water is flowing freely now. And lastly, water! we're going to deal with sewage, which is going to be handled by this sewage outlet. Pumps wastewater out into the environment. By that, I mean we take one of these things and put it along the shoreline. It's literally just a pipe that's going to spew <laughs> water right into the river. So my hope is that when that thing starts spewing sewage, it's going to go downstream into this thing and send that as drinking water to all all those unsuspecting citizens. Let's course. see if it works. Yep, yeah! and that's how we know we hooked it up right. Pro but cannon. why stop with one? Let's go ahead and add as many of these as we can. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. Cannons. That's the magic. And some of these aren't spewing garbage yet, but that's probably because we don't have that many citizens. So we're going to have to really get our population up from 22 whole people because we need more people Wait, to trap. Wait, how does it say up 22 people? Is that like 87 cars? Did you see that, Chunk? More to pollute these rivers. As you can see, though, it's already starting to have kind of an effect. By that, I mean that brown spot in the otherwise clear river water. True. So for starters, we're going to build all kinds of random stuff. After all, what's the point of having a giant complex like this if there's nobody this living? This is honestly a fever dream, bro. Who will live here? There. So we're going to try and listen Who to all the demands here? they have. Wow, who would have thought that there'd be high demand for commercial, industrial, and offices? It's almost as if people want somewhere to work and not to just Blair Witch staring at their air conditioner all day long. Also, oh. Oh my god, look at this hulking child. Is Don't that mess Mark with Zuckerberg? This kid, they'll mess you up. Oh, but where should we put everything? Ow. I don't know about you, but this seems like ideal farmland. I mean, it's probably True. not, but that's what we're going to use it for. And okay, now we just want to establish <laughs> what is viable farmland, oh, which coming. we're going to drag to all the corners that we can. I don't care how much this extends into the ocean. Make all this farmland work for you. They Wonderful. Can, you can make you 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 farm rice in the water, right? It's a rice farm. One more perfect landmark in our city. It's like Godzilla's got a claw that's coming out and it became True. a field. See, now this is the spirit of farming. I like to call this <laughs> making the most of it. I mean, they don't seem to be bothered by the swells of the river, so why should we? And we're going to use... Average citizen in Florida when a hurricane happens. There's all this amazing <laughs> space near our entrance. To put all of our stuff like supermarkets, malls, hotels, movie theaters, we're just going to shove them in here in the most yeah, inconvenient way possible. To get the sense that this is going to be where most people from the town will be working. And because all these roads are a one-way street i think that means to get to work people are gonna have to drive all the way through the entire town all the way back over to this space all the way back to the highway and then drive back through all of this crap just to get to their work oh uh, yeah this is i was going to shrug and shrug the grass Bro, is this, is together. This Look at this beautiful truck? little city center we've made for ourselves. Uh -huh. We've even got foot traffic. And you know this guy must be pretty diehard because there was no easy way to walk if this was a gta game i'd play it 
over here from the city or town, whatever we're calling this mess. And we can't forget about all this usable space over here. And we could just put offices or whatever in these spaces, but it just feels too Wait, clean. So fire? I have an idea. First, let's bulldoze all of these existing roads. And before we add any roads of our own, let's mess around with this, the landscaping tool, okay. specifically this section right here, terraforming. terraforming. Tools to shape the land. Okay, let's see. How does this work? I don't know. Oh, there you go. Whoa! Okay, so hold on. I've got kind of a plan here. And it's well, not necessarily okay. to make mountains or anything. I, um... After all, we do want to use this space for something. Can I just take the gravel road? And can I just, like, yeah! run this right through the... Oh, it looks like you can, because it's all blue. Wait, oh, what? great. It made a tunnel. I didn't even know that was an option. <laughs> and now we're going to... Con <laughs> Why is this an oversized mini golf course? Continue our nice gravel road. <laughs> Bro, it's a mega golf course. What the and heck? Just kind of circle it around like this. Yeah. <laughs> circle it around some more. Looking great. Okay. Yeah, it's a okay. roller coaster. Okay, I might have gone a little overboard. <laughs> but if you give me windy road. <laughs> My man made an anatomically correct recreation of an atom. I'm gonna want to do stuff. I honestly frick? don't even know how this is Dude, gonna work. Like, there's so many places where the roads the just kind of intersect. There's also surprisingly little signage at these big intersections. I mean, thank God for letting us know you there's no around. U turns. And I even raised a little more terrain to add some more stuff. And while a lot of it is. Chat, I feel like the average workday here is probably one hour because I spend nine of them driving off the ground, there are a lot of roads that are actually still gravel, like this part right here, True. which means it's all space we can use for putting down different zones of stuff. Even this right here. I hope someone uses this to build their dream house. So we'll just go ahead Wait, and use this space that? for filling in random office buildings, and then we'll mix some housing in there. Maybe some okay. industrial. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's not Wait, advised to just mix all the stuff together, no but way. obviously we don't care. <laughs> I just want to give our town a nice spattering of color. Yep. Okay, that should about do it. Maybe. And now nice. we just wait and see how construction does. Wait, this oh, and also, look, fun. we have somebody on the road. Now we can finally see how this gets handled. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like you can turn on these, which makes this a lot more versatile to use, okay. which I guess is probably a good thing, because it means that people can actually get to the freeway <laughs> faster and then flee from this situation forever. <laughs> or apparently this guy is going to stop, almost get hit by a car, Whoa. and then go right back into town again. I get it, you just couldn't leave it behind. Yeah. Well, so far, so good. Yeah, I'm genuinely shocked bus. that stuff is getting built here. Thank God there's a gas station being built right next to this pharmaceutical company. All on a gravel road. Oh yeah, and that's the spirit. Look at this place. Absolutely horrific, death-defying parking spots. True. And also this nightmare of trying to visit any of these storefronts. <laughs> like this amazing bed. You, you walk out in the, the bar you're like, yeah man, it's been a good night. I had a lot of fun. I'm just... <laughs> that looks like a Fuck you, spaghetti. Man, I hope a conveniently junction. placed clip doesn't make me just fall Atlanta, off of it. And I too <laughs> want to. And Che, you want to go to this ATM? You better really want to. <laughs> Slipping and falling might be a problem. And some of these places do look surprisingly nah. normal. True. I mean, until you zoom out and realize that it's on a cliff side. <laughs> and if you're an employee, remember to always use this door. Because this one over here might be a problem. <laughs> but thank God there's a security camera that... <laughs> They're making live like videos! That, that's the opening live leak camera! No! I can catch you falling to your death. I'm trying to decide if this seems like a fancy, desirable neighborhood or not. Like, on one hand, it seems nice and sleepy and safe, World and you do Star! have these luscious World backyards, Star! but then again, your view is also of this smokestack. I don't know, I guess it's kind of a mixed bag. Oh, this is definitely the smartest household, though, because they actually built a fence. Everybody else is just True. free to fall to their death. And this place has amazing outdoor furniture. True. Oh, you know what? There's something else we still need to add. And that's Wait, a fire department and a police department. And I think I know just where to or put nah. them. All the way over here. So take a look at this. Over here is our eighth wonder of the world. As you yep. can tell by the borders, that's how much land this we have. This actually kind of looks like that, that thing where Disney World planned to make their own Disney World city. And, and it never happened. It became Epcot the park. But it looks like that own and can build on. But if we leave all that behind and wander all the way out here into these little islands, you can see this other line appears. This is the actual border of how far out we can buy land and build on it. So if I click on this little icon here, it uh -huh. shows us all the available land that we can buy. As you can see, there's a lot of room to grow. True. And I want to be able to build on this whole quadrant, so I'm just going to buy all this space. I'm really okay. glad it gives me all these stats. I mean, I'm not going to use them, but I'm glad they're there. Okay, great. <laughs> Time to do some more building. Oh, and look at this. We even have the option of having a 
a firefighting helicopter depot. Houses five helicopters ready to take off at a moment's notice. No thanks, we're just what? gonna go with this firehouse. A small station that houses a few fire engines. Yes, that definitely sounds about more Wait, my speed. And oh my god, the look fires. at the police options. We've got a police it's station, police headquarters, a prison, and the Central Intelligence Bureau. You're getting one normal the police CIA? station, you're gonna like it. Yes, and of course they're gonna need roads. All one-way streets, of course, which is gonna allow us to turn this into this. Now, I know <laughs> what you're thinking. We've already done a whole lot of road stuff Stop. already. Stop. Uh, I can't do it anymore. I can't watch. What are you doing? You're killing these people. They're gonna have kids by the time they finish making it across. They, you, you might as well be circling the effing stars, dude. But if we're gonna invent the time machine or teleportation before you finally get off this junk, he's making the rainbow road true. But this pile is a little bit different. As a reminder, over here with this thing, all these roads actually intersect, so people true. can make decisions to Wait, turn boss, if they want to. You. But all this stuff over here, not a single one of Can these roads. Giga-chads! Uh, thank you, Fox Boy, for the 10. Never, never, Welcome to Snickers. Thank you! <laughs> thank you. Woods intersects oh, with another so road. That means that to traverse. Uh, uh, no, 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 <laughs> no. Never, whenever, Poggy Woggy. <laughs> no! <laughs> He's gone forever. First, these one-way streets. These fire engines have to drive this entire route. And oh boy, is it gonna take them a while. But hey, you know what? We're supposed to have fire services, and now we have them. Don't worry, they'll True. be there soon. To help your great-grandkids, maybe, because you're gonna be long gone. This boat going by underneath is probably like, what the hell is this? This crap wasn't on any of the charts. Oh yeah, that's what we like to see. All the poop coming out of all the chutes. Slowly but surely, it's gonna change the color of that water. True. And I mean, some of the citizens are complaining never, about never, apparently never dirty water coming into their homes. But oh, what do you no. expect from people on Crybaby Alley? They you know, now I poop. wonder something. We've got all these big, beautiful rivers, right? And we've also got this big, beautiful terrain tool. Can I use this thing to just kind of separate the what water the, from, what, huh? from the rest? So now we've effectively made our own little huh? lake. And then if we just take these things and relocate them over here, will this work here as well? Oh, uh, yeah, there it goes. Okay, and now that most of these things are doing their thing, <laughs> now can we take this little pool of water here, slim this down even further, and will this help it turn another shade of brown? Actually, while I'm staring at this, I think I have another question that needs answering. What? I couldn't help but notice that the water Ew. line here is a lot lower than the water line over Ew. here. Which I guess makes sense. This is all coming from a river that's... Oh, you know, oh. I kind of forgot that this would happen, but it makes sense now that I see it. I'm glad that these cars absolutely... My man just made Atlantis! ...don't care either. And nor does this person. Just hanging out in their yard. Nothing's gonna stop them from enjoying their music. Well, this is kind of exciting, isn't it? Especially the part where we now know that these vans can become amphibious vehicles. I mean, if you've got places to be... Dude, these are all terrain vehicles! You've got places to be, right? The lost secrets of Atlantis wait for nobody. You know, I think I was going about this all wrong. I was trying to bring the crap piece. water to the people, but I'm pretty sure I had that backwards. And by that, I mean, surely this counts as shoreline now, right? Like, can I just raise some terrain right behind these people's houses and then just bring the crap to them? Looks like that's a yes. <laughs> oh, sorry about your backyard. We had to do a little remodeling. Here, have some free fertilizer. <laughs> nah, don't worry, it's no problem to us. It's just one of our many ways of giving back here in Sadula. Population, your poop property. Well, I certainly like the sound of this plan. Just when you thought your neighborhood couldn't get any classier, the city and Introduces new features to surprise. Shadow of the world's sickest water slide. What is that? Uh -huh. Eyes and delight. I love it. It's like the blob is taking over this house. What well, is I going guess on? all that's left to do now is yeah, go neighborhood by mountain. neighborhood. See if we can enhance their experience with a little bit of um personal touch. I want to thank Paradox again for giving me <laughs> access to an early version Wait, of the game sick. so I can make this video. As well as for sponsoring the whole thing. So if this game sounds exciting uh, to you and you want to know more, go Man. <laughs> I didn't know someone recreated Detroit. <laughs> <laughs>